Hello everyone, we are discussing Lewis dot structure. How to draw the Lewis dot structure of a compound. And here I am taking an example that is NO2 minus. And uh, the steps, the first step is count the total valence electrons. So there are three atoms in NO2 minus that is one nitrogen and two oxygen. Then how many total valence electrons are there? So one nitrogen having five valence electrons because it's a group 15 element and two oxygen each oxygen having six valence electrons so five plus two into six plus one more electron because there is a negative charge a negative charge means extra one electron we know that a positive charge means one electron less and negative charge means extra electron so five five valence electron from nitrogen and each oxygen having six valence electron so two into six plus one from a minus charge totally 18 is the total valence electron second step second step is select the central atom here we know that uh, three atoms are there one nitrogen and two oxygen which is central atom central atom is always the least electronegative element and less in number then which one compared to nitrogen and oxygen which one is least electronegative yes nitrogen is least electronegative and also nitrogen is less in one less so nitrogen is a central atom then third step is draw a skeletal structure we are just roughly drawing a structure we know that the structure of NO2- is bent shape but here we are drawing a just a rough shape only the shape of NO2 is like this just because uh, whatever it is there should be a single bond between these two nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen and oxygen here nitrogen is central atom a central atom attached to two other oxygen at least with a single bond it is not the correct structure the skeletal structure only then the fourth step what is fourth step the fourth step is complete the octet of surrounding atom complete the octet of surrounding atoms first so here we know that in this structure in this structure the octet of nitrogen or oxygen it is not completed the fourth step is we have to complete the octet of surrounding atoms first if any electrons are remaining we can complete the octet of central atom also so here this oxygen now having how many electrons one two a bond means two electron and these two electrons are shared by both this oxygen and nitrogen so now this oxygen having only two electrons this oxygen also having two electrons and this nitrogen having how many electrons one two three four four electrons so in this skeleton structure we are used how many electrons four electrons that is one two three four two bond means each each one bond means two electrons there are two bonds each bond having two electrons so two plus two four electrons that we are already used from the valence electron count total valence electron is 18 minus 4 when 14 valence electrons are remaining using that remaining valence electron we can complete the octet of surrounding atoms first if any electrons are remaining we can balance the central atom also so this oxygen now having only two electron we can give six more electron so one two three four five six six electron so now the octet of this oxygen is completed because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this oxygen also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now the octet of these two oxygen is completed. So for that purpose, we are used to how many electrons? Yeah, 12 electrons. 12, 6 plus 6, 12 electrons. Then remaining, there is 14 minus uh, 2. How many? 12, uh, 14 minus 12 that is 2 electrons are remaining 
that two electrons that, that, that we can given to the central atom that is nitrogen then the fifth step so now we are having this kind of structure in the fifth step we can recheck the octet of each element so this oxygen yes octet is completed one two three four five six seven eight this oxygen also octet is completed that is one two three four five six and this nitrogen how many electrons now one two three four five six electrons only so this nitrogen octet is not completed so for that purpose we have to uh, complete the octet of this nitrogen so here the thing is we are converting this lone pair of electron into a bond pair so just we are the last step we are converting this lone pair of electron into a bond pair if it is a lone pair of electron this pair of electrons are on only to this oxygen if it is converted into a bond pair it can be used by both nitrogen and oxygen the last step uh, a coordination we are creating a coordination it's, and then we can we are converting uh, here we are converting a lone pair of electron into a bond pair so now the structure will be nitrogen 1 2 3 4 this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it is the last structure it is a structure of NO2 minus and the finally we have to assign the formal charge of each atom what's the formal charge of this oxygen this nitrogen and also this oxygen we have to finalize the formal charge also so there is a formula to find out the formal charge we know that but that is time taking process so we are easy we can easily find out the formal charge of each atom that's a trick it's only a trick it is not a method so listen here it is a trick is like this so you should, we can check the formal charge of this oxygen first the trick is how many electrons in the side of this oxygen side of this oxygen side of this atom okay how many electrons are there in the side of this atom that is one two three four five six seven we cannot count this electron we cannot we, can, we cannot count this electron we are counting only this electron because only this electron is in the side of this atom so how many electrons are in the side of this oxygen one two three four five six seven and usually what is the number of valence electron of oxygen six so now there is extra one electron in the side of this oxygen so extra one electron means is it clear here how many electrons in the side of this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 usually in the valence shell of oxygen having only 6 electron so there is an extra one electron then we can put a negative one charge that is a formal charge and what about this nitrogen so nitrogen usually having how many valence electron 5 so here how many electrons in the side of nitrogen that is one here two three four five so is, uh, is it clear so if you need doubt you can uh, comment in the comment box so one here two three four five the only electrons in the side of this atom that is one two one two three four five so usually five electrons are there in the valence shell of nitrogen here also five electrons that means there is no charge what about this oxygen this oxygen how many valence electrons how many electrons in the side of this oxygen one two three four five six is it clear so how many electrons one two three four five six so six electrons are there so usually in the valence shell of oxygen six electrons so here also the number of valence electron uh, the number of electrons in the side of this oxygen 
six. Then there is no charge for this nitrogen also. So let's say easily then uh, we can find out the former charge also. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and like and share the video.